I definitely agree that you cannot draw a horse with a ruler. Nevertheless, I think we're all capable of drawing a really good horse. But I think for most of us, there's one thing getting in the way, and that's the stuff we put in the way. Now let me give you an example. Here's my signature. It's nothing special. In fact, I can do it without thinking, which is really the point. Most of us can sign our name without thinking. It's just something we do. And so for all of us, it's no big deal. But our signature is unique. In fact, it's so unique, it's our recognized, legally binding, official seal of approval. If someone uses our signature without our permission, they've broken the law. It's what we use for important documents. So our signature is regarded as really, really important. But why? What makes it so special? I think it's because it's pure self-expression. It's 100% us. And when we do it, we don't let anything get in the way. And every time we do it, it's similar to all the other times we do it, even though none of them are exactly the same. All these are different. But it's recognizable. You can look at someone's signature and say, yep, that's Charlie or whoever. Signatures by famous people, autographs, can be very valuable. It's like they're an extension of the person somehow. So our signature is considered to be a kind of true reflection of us. But it's not exactly rare, is it? Signing our name something universal, pretty much all of us can do it. It doesn't depend on wealth or popularity or social position. It just depends on the physical ability, knowing how to do it, a piece of paper and a pen. Now, while it's probably impossible to define exactly what constitutes art, many of us would probably agree that a big part of it is pure self-expression, just the same as your signature. So I think it proves that you can do it too. All you've got to do is clear the deck a little and release your natural abilities, and yes, I do think they're natural. I think we're born with this. And in the next video, I'll show you what I mean.